Oh, and we got queens, Donnie. Let's go. 20 bibs and queens all in. And a call. Yo, what's up, everyone? Hello. We are back in action for a Wednesday night stream. Thank you so much for popping in. All right, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Let's get it going, okay? Uh, this is sort of an in-betweener hand in that I don't really want to shove. It'd be, like, pretty neutral, you know? We'd probably break even-ish. Um, so I'm going to raise it. We do get in some awkward spots if we get 3-bet. And here we're going to shove the jacks. Oh, we won. I didn't even get to sweat it. My travel guy, you guys, is waiting on uh, waiting on a payment for me. I said I'd ship it to him after the stream, so I was just getting back. Hitting a set. Not bad. Not bad, man. I'll take it. Uh, shove the turn? Cool. I mean, it's a thin shove on the turn um, because we do lose to some things. Ace-10, Ace-8, Ace-6. We beat things like 10-9, like tr club draws and stuff like that. Unfortunately, though, um, they get there. Open Ace-Queen. We get shoved on here. It looks like a huge shove. It's really not. It's only for 19 big blinds. We'll call. All right. And here we go. Here we go. Ayo. 8,000 coming our way. I like it, man. Co-op. Ace, king, queen, three. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, man. Nice hand, Kiko Bap. Will the queen six. And I call. This is wild, but we're crushing this range. And we're doing well against this one. Okay. Okay. Uh, yep. Ship all the nickels this way. Let's go. 24K. Hot damn. We're 6 of 62 in the 27 6 max turbo. Let's go. Ya boy, hi fans. A drop of the sub. Can we get some love at the chat for the brand new subscriber? Hi fans. Thank you, man. Welcome to Dreamers Inc. Thanks for supporting the show. Much appreciated. Uh-oh, 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 oh, are we running good? I think we're running good. Let's go, guys, 38,000. Let's go up here. We got the Redfeld hype going. We also have room for another table. All right, Jack 10 of clubs here, 12 of 22. Raise up to 29, 28. Trying to find the right beauties to play on the side. Ooh, okay. Bit 2,800 here. Five of diamonds on the turn. Barrel again? Nah, too many draws, and we block their draws. We'll just check. And they bet here, I'm gonna shove. We do run into king high flushes and uh, ace high flushes sometimes, but I feel like we can still shove here. And get them to call with some sets, with some worse flushes. Maybe even two pair. There it is. There it is. It's so honestly a thin shove against a great player like Jazoint, but I think the right one, and it pays off, you guys. Four of 19. Are we winning tournaments, man? We might. I don't want to jinx it, but I'm just saying. Good luck, good luck, Jamie. A hug from Spain, bro. Thanks, Fede. Thanks, man. I'll take that. Appreciate it. So bet at 2,700. Really small bet here, and we do have a pair as well as a kind of weak flush draw. I think calling is good. Six of clubs on the turn. We could consider leading, but God, checking is cool, too. Check on the river. Hey, there it is. Checks it down and we take it. Ace four of clubs. Let's go over here. We have top set. This is an $11 tournament though. First off. Second off, we're pretty deep. Third off, there is potential flush draws. All of those reasons I'm going to decide to bet my top set here. A lot of the times you can check top set. Uh, it's one of the strong hands you can be deceptive with because it's hard for them to have a top pair when you have two in your hand and one on the board. Okay, we get a call. Let's uh, size up a bit here on the turn. Try and get some more muns. It's kind of tough, but try. Come on, Jamie. $11 mini? What? You think I'm too good for the $11 mini, man? Not too good for the $11 mini. I'm in there, baby. They have a straight. Just lost in the $11 mini. Tough competition out there. Check on the nine, and then a king on the river is not so great. I kind of want to turn my hand into a bluff here, but yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to bluff my bottom pair of nines. I feel like they have a queen a lot of the time here, and it's going to be a difficult, difficult call down. I don't think they have a flush. They didn't bet. Uh, what sort of hands can I turn into a bluff in this situation? I'm in total garbage hands, basically. But they probably need me to turn a nine into a bluff to call with a queen. So, All right. They do just call with the queen anyways. They were right. To be fair, they were right. Hey, Lord of Donktown. What's up, man? 
Good to see you, Lord of Dogtown, you beauty. Kind of a weird spot with King 10. Vamos! All right, King 9 of Hearts. We're going to raise it up on the button. The suit in hand is a beauty. $79 locked up in one spot. It's 97 Gaffa calls, 5, 8, 10. I like checking back here. A lot of good turns for the King 9 of Hearts in this situation. Also, a board that's going to hit them a lot, so we don't want to bet fold our hand. If we had King 9 without this uh, backdoor flusher or something, maybe we could consider betting. They check... And this is a close one on the turn. Close one. Because it we do benefit from pr getting protection. Then again, it is tough to get worse hands to call again. Now on the river, it's a pretty clear value bet with our two pair. Shows a deuce and folds. Oh, Kevin Martin. What's up, Kevin? Good luck to Kevin Martin, also streaming right now. This tournament, we're down to 12. All right, Kevin takes that down, gets a walk. Let's open the queens. Beautiful hand. This is a spot for Kevin to put me on some pressure, Pata to put me on some pressure, Gaffa to put me in some pressure. Like, it's just a great spot for everyone to play back at me, and we kind of want that with the queen and the queen, man. It's a pretty bad flop for queens. Yeah, maybe check call. It's tough, man. We don't even block the queen of clubs. That sucks. We'll check to side based on sizing. 5,800. All right, we'll check call one. To the turn. I'm gonna check all in this situation. I probably have king 10, queen 10, jack 10 type hands. Kings, queens, jacks. And see, I don't know. Like, I guess we check aces. The problem is my range is probably a little bit too weak for check calling here. But uh, we have to fold on the turn. Seven, eight suited. Reshove, reshove, and a big stack here. Ooh, we have an all in with ace king. In the battle royale, $25 bounty in play. Can we hold it? Yeah, $25 cash. Plus the chips coming our way up to 17.6. And some more good news. The 7-8 suited raise just gets through. We just take the chips. All right. We are in action with 8s here. Just going to be a shove again, even over Kevin's open here. Just pile. We're picking up just like pile city hands. Obviously do not want to call. Do not want to call. 31 big blind reshove on FT Bubbles, man. Oh my god, dude, nines. Now with 33 big blinds and a raise from here, I think we just call. I think now we're risking too much. Like, just those those three big blinds we picked up, the th like four big blinds plus one less position, I think we just call in this situation. Ah, oh, man. We're getting all these stressful hands. Ooh, and that's loud. My bad, guys. Kevin bets 8,000 here. We'll call to the turn. Check on the eight. Ooh, queens against kings all in, and kings gonna double up the shorty. Check, check, we have a queen of spades on the river. It's a good card for us. I don't know if we should better check here. Like, we could consider block betting as well, but uh, we can have jack 10, queen 10, king 10, 10, nine suited. Mm. Dang. So the question is, does Kevin double barrel in this situation on the eight with their queen jack? And queen X type hands like ace queen and king queen probably shut down. Uh, that's such a bad card. All right, I'll fold. We could have got bluffed from the Kevin Martin dude. It's tough to say. Up to us with a queen jack. It's a hand will open if given the opportunity. But Pata Negra raises, and now we have a weird one. Yeah, I'll throw out a little three bet here. Seems like a reasonable hand to three bet. I don't really like calling it given the stacks. Pata Negra is going to be opening quite wide given the situation, so I think we can put in a 3-bet. Cheers, man. 224.4. This is my current weight. We have to fold to the 4-bet. Fold the 8-9. All right. Call. Ace-10 against sixes. Come on, sixes. Hold. Keep it low, Dottie. Let's go. Kevin Martin doubles up. And we're pretty much down to 7 here. Jazoint is all in in the big blind. A6 against 6 is down here all in. Want the 6s to hold, and then we would probably be at this final table right away. There it is, man. We are down to 7. No! Oh, we go to we go to the final table at 7. That's interesting. Look at this. This is weird, man. My HUD's all the way over there. Is it going to rebalance to 6, or is it going to keep us at 7? And we're going to fold the queen 5 of diamonds. So we're at 7. $178 earned. Then it goes 6, 218. 309, 437, 618, 874, and 1237. We hadn't li Lemon Lion. I wasn't expecting it. Here we go. Bah! Final table hype. We have an all in. King, queen against queen nine. Can the king, queen holds? To get down to six. Let's go, Dottie. We're down to six, you guys. Six remaining in this tournament. We've laddered up to 218. The Lemon Lion is official. We pick up ace 10. 
We are the shortest stack in this tournament by a decent margin here as well. So you know, open to 9,000 and a call from Tasser. No, Tasser. Now you put us in a really difficult spot here with Ace-10 offsuit. Really, really gross. We are the shortest stack, so ICM isn't too much of a factor. It's somewhat of a factor, but not too much. I'm really worried about Tasser being able to have better hands here. Like, they can flat ace-king, they can have ace-queen, ace-jack, they can have a lot of pairs that call, and we don't want to get into a flip in this situation. And we have to think about Zaboka, who's the second shortest stack deciding to open into four other players. I'm going to fold. That's uh, definitely tight, but I just think they probably have a few too many strong hands. Oh, Kevin raises under the gun, and we have a, another kind of gross spot. It depends on what these opponents do. If anyone three bets will fold... If we get a flat, I think we definitely shove. And if we get a fold here, I still think we shove against Kevin. It's like uncomfortable, but then again, we do have a lot of payout pressure we can put on Kevin, making the fold a lot of flips. We also do have Ace Jack, but we see a three bet here and now we're just out of the way. Another dicey one there with Ace Jack, but it was gonna be a shove. Button clicking takes it, 224K, blinds going up, 2400, 4800. That's not bad as the shortest stack. Oh, aces, dude. Yes. All right, just shove. We can't really do anything else. They're going to fold a lot, but just shove. Come on, man. Let's get a call. We block their good hands as well. It's tough. I think we're just going to see a fold here. Yep. 110,000, though. Chipping up. Oh, and we got queens, Dottie. Let's go. 20 beebs and queens. All in. A call. We have a flip. Oh! The queen on the river. I thought we lost. Nope. Queen on the river's good, man. 230k. Whoo! It's a moment, chat. We're first place. Let's go. Hello, queen ball, Dottie. Now we need all the chips in play. Eights against king ten. Here we have a flip for a potential down to five. We are down to five. GG to Zaboka. Patanegra will take those chips. Nice hand, my friend. $309 locked up. $1,200 for the win. Let's keep it rolling. Here we go. Jacks against 9-7. We have a good spot. Good flop. Not a great turn. Good river. Let's go, you guys. Down to four. We pick up the chips. 360000 in this 27 6 max turbo. $309 locked up now. Whoo. Let's go. First of four. Oh, we're guaranteed 438 now. 438 bucks. Raise gets shoved on by Kev. We'll fold. 810 offsuit. Eh, just gonna fold here. This is a good spot to be in, you guys. This is good. Kevin's gonna reshove. Snap call. King, queen. Come on. Hit the king, man. Hit the king of the queen. From my old roomie. GG to Kevin Martin, you guys. GG. We are three handed. He takes home $437. I'll do my best to represent for us, man. Good game. $618 is locked up, you guys. It's $12.37 for the win, so we've got half the money that you could win in this tournament already in our pocket. Let's get some more. Open the king six on the button. Get a call from Patanegra. Not good. And a call here. Also not good. We opened a pretty frisky hand. Didn't work out well for us. <coughs> Are we heads up? Are we heads up right now? We're heads up, you guys. GG to Tasser. Heads up against Patanegra XD. We has 469,000 from Poland. I'm in second place. 875 locked, 1237 for the win. GG, good luck, good luck. All right, bit of 11,000 into 31K here. We're gonna start with a call. Let's go to the turn, which is a four. Pretty good turn. We pick up a gut shot along with our second pair of jacks. And it goes check, check. We have an eight on the river. Block bet, slash get some value from some hands. Okay, take it down, 349K. This is not bad. Not a bad hand. And we get 3-bit to 43k. Make it 86,000. The tank is on. We get a long think and a call. We have a jack 6-6 six, six flop. It's a fine flop. We lose to jacks and aces now for what it's worth. We get 60,000 here. About a third of the pot and they just fold. All right, guys. We take the lead there. 436,000. Deuce 4 offsuit. If you had it, you have it. There you go. Fair enough. We're going to fold the deuce 4. Raise up jack 4 suited. Cool. And we get a call, 765. I think our draw is weak enough here that I like continuation betting and probably for a decent size here, probably around 60 percent. If we had a stronger draw, like if we had Jack 8, two overs and opener, cool. If we had a backdoor flush draw to go along with it, I'd check back, cool. 
but I think our draw is a bit too weak to uh, be checking this one. And we do get check raise and we'll just fold. It's cool. All right, we'll call with 9-5. We folded a bunch of junky things, but this one I think we can call. And we have an 8-6-3 flop. Gut shot. Start with a check call. 12,300. Check on this jack turn. Goes check check. Three on the river. You don't have to bet much here. 24,000. Representing an 8 or a 6. And it's not good when we see a tank like this. It's not good. They fold. Okay. I'm going to raise 5-3 here. I like raising this more than 8-3. Make some straights. Inject six. Man, this is not a very good flop either. I'm gonna go delayed here. A jack's a good card for us. We're gonna check a decent amount of jacks. Like if we have a jack, we're gonna check the flop. So it's pretty good news. And bet twenty thousand. Get a call. We make a pair on the river. Any chance? Nope. Six four. Pretty even, Steven here. Okay, we'll defend. Flop at the top pair of queens. Not a strong enough queen to raise a C bet here. Uh, goes check, check. King on the turn. Check again, I guess. Bad card. Bet 20,000. We'll call. And lead the river. And a fold. 440k. It's not a card they're going to bluff on very often. Should just try and get paid from uh, a king. Raise call. Deuce 9-9. Nine, nine. So board texture where we're going to want to bet small here. Obviously, we flop pretty good as well with two overs and a flush draw. We don't necessarily want to get this in 40 big blinds deep, though. We can get it in against a 9, against ace high and king high flush draws. So if we got raised, I'd probably just call and then play turns to get raised. We're dropping a few frames. Sorry about that, guys. We'll call. That is a pretty nice card. Pretty nice card. Bet of 36,000. I think we just call again. King of the river. If they check to us, what sizing do we want to choose? Not very big. We don't have that many bluffs. So I think we'd want to choose about 70k, maybe 65k even, if they check. But if they bet, then cool. We just don't have very many bluffs here, you know? And we block their strong hands. Bet ticket, you guys. 500k. We're in the lead. It's going well. Raise call. Check on the ace 10 6. Uh, I don't know about this. I don't think we should float. 7, 8, 7, 9, 8, 9, king, queen, king, jack, queen, jack. Uh, are all better floats on 6x, 10x, ace x. Back to flush draws would be cool as well. I think we're just folding. Raise call, ace, 9, 3. Just going to bet 15k. And continue on an 8, a 7. Cool. That's nice. About 40,000. It's good. Question is do we unload the clip on the river? Should deuce. Uh, no, I don't think so. Damn, King Jack. I don't know about that on the turn. I guess they're assuming that I have enough heart draws and like 10-8 and gut shots like 10-6 that they can call the turn. But, I don't know. Seems wide. I'm going to call with the 3-4. Start with the check. The 18,000 will call. Let's see a nice turn. Alright. It's gives us a gutter, but diamonds get there. Just check, check, and a 10 on the river. I'm not going to turn my bottom pair into a bluff here. I'm just going to check. I feel like I've been bluffing a lot, so just try to get to showdown. Doesn't work out. Let's raise up the ace king, though. Maybe we can get some action here. Come on, man. Hey, all in. Take it down. Still tied ish. Fold, give us our first walk of the mat. Oh. <laughs> raise up the ace eight. And a call. King, 10, 8. This is a good spot for a check back. Don't want to blow up the size of the pot here. Third pair. Let's control it and check. Deuce! Okay, that's the opposite of a deuce. That's the worst card in the deck. The worst one. It's usually fine for the sorts of hands we decide to check back, but like with our particular hand, I think we just try and get to showdown. Nice. I don't know if I should be shoving here 25 big blinds deep over a raise. Uh, that's close, I think. I can just shove and try and pick up 50k. That's got to be right with them having 322, risking 6x. I'll just shove the pair and take it down. It seems like really close though, you know? It's like a stack size in, in the middle of like deciding to call or shove. 
All right, 470 to 290. All right, and stab. I'm gonna just start with the lead out here with our top and bottom pair. A lot of potential draws on this board. Queen, Jack, Queen, 10, Jack, 10, 7, 8. Call and a deuce of spades on the turn. Let's size up a bit here. There's so many draws we can have. Bet 49,000. Would love to see a shove. Good call and a queen on the river. We go for a big bet again, 112,000. If they have Jack-10, they double up. If they have King-Queen, they double up. If they have a set of nines, they double up. But two pair should be good. Let's go, you guys! Woo! We taken down the tournament, man! We won the 27-6 Max Turbo for 12-37. GG to our opponent. They went for the bluff, man. They had heart. They had heart and commitment. But damn, if we didn't chip that thing. Let's go! Oh, it feels good. Thank you guys for sweating that run, man. That was hype. Oh, I think I played that heads up good, too. Mmm. Feels good to win a tournament, dude, for 12.37, which is a nice comeback after yesterday's rough day. I'll take it. Let's play another $100 spinner, Max. I just feel like it, man. It's been a good day. Good night. It's been a good night. What do we got? We have five-handed. How many people? Uh, boom! 150, that's bad. 570, that's good. 180, that's bad. Okay. So that's the other feature of the spin and go max, which basically is just like the hand ends, or the game ends at a certain amount of time. So you can't be earning on your edge anymore. It's just like, okay, well, now we flip to end the game, basically. So you only have a variable amount of hands. Sometimes it's like 18, sometimes it's 25 hands to to exert your edge, and and that's that. That's all you got. Full to 7-4. And the thing is, like, having more chips than your opponents is important because there's a first and a second here, right? So if you bust, if the three short stacks bust and the chip leader wins, who gets second place, right? Who gets second? Well, the person with the most chips does. So that actually plays a factor in this multi-way situation if we get an all-in. But there's two hands left. Last hand before all-in mode. And we are going to have the shortest stack of the three short stacks. So we basically need to win this all-in. Um, to to get second. We could still win first, too. Like, if we win two in a row, we win, but... Oh, wow. Cool. Four is king seven. We still need to win the all-in, but it's gonna be, uh, not multi-way. Oh, damn. Packerman. We want Packerman to bust for sure. There we go. Okay, so we have a three-way all-in. If we win, we're gonna get at least second. This is the all-in moment. Oh no, Packerman still has chips. Three, no four. Oh, never mind. They have a jack. Okay, so it's gonna scoop the whole thing. Yeah, we get third place. Oh no, the HUD was just lagging actually. No, it wasn't. So yeah, we get third because we both lost, right? So basically, they had less chips, so we get third place. All right, well, played it well. Didn't pick up any spots though. That's a set of fives. So scoops. What's it gonna be? Best of luck, my friend. 150. Oh, they picked the big one. Sick. That's a pretty big equity win. Again, they had $180 in equity. But they just picked the 570. Not bad. I'm not, like, close to the idea. And if it's not beatable, then the only times I'll play it is for fun. If I want, like, a gamble on stream or something, you know? And if it is beatable, maybe I'd decide to grind it more. All right, what do we got? We got another 4x. We got Saoud in here. 250, okay. Oh, 490. 160. All right. The second get paid here. That's an important factor. Second does get paid 100 bucks in this one. We call for 10 more chips. 35%. Oh, yeah. Come out. 50-50. Oh, that's a good turn for them. 95 chips gone. We have sixes. First place is too much money, though. We got a call here. All right, we have a flip, which is a disaster. We hate having to flip here. Yeah. It sucks. One place paid. 500 bucks or 200, 200. It looks very nice. Oh, thanks. Random push JT. Appreciate it. This is a good hand. All right. What do we got, Alverda? What do we got, my friends? For 700 chips. OK. 
Okay, not the best flop in the world. Good turn. Not a good river. Dang it. Chop it up. Two pair. We only have eight hands left. We're still four-handed. It's pretty crazy. Let's get a call here. Come on, man. There we go. 71% to start. Can we hold it? Nice. Got him. Up to 590. Good stuff. Three-handed. Once again, you guys, there's no second place. Oh, no. Never mind. They have a few chips. There's no second place here. You just play for the win. And I now, based on us having seven hands left, I think we're going to have an all-in flip at, at that seven hand. So we'll see. Seven deuce is a fold. Six is 10-5. Oh, give me the seven deuce back. Give it back. Give it back. Six is scoop. And we are now officially three-handed with six hands remaining. Pick up the button. We're going to shove for six and a half with the jacket suited. Six and a half big blinds. All right, a seven reshoves. Fair enough. It's the correct reshove. We hit a jack, though. We hit two jacks, though. Let's go. Crazy Pyro, 25% rake on that spin and go, lol. No, that's not how rake works, right? Because when you pay to play the tournament, you have an equal chance between hitting, you know, hitting the high multipliers. So when you pay the rake, it's whatever it is, 7 or 8%. Just because it ended up this way is variance, right? It's not. You didn't pay 25% rake, and when you win a million, you don't pay reverse, you know, 800,000% rake. You know, you don't pay reverse. It's not how it works. We call getting a very good price, and don't get there, so they have 330 chips. We are in the lead, though. Alverda, I think it's won two of these things that we've seen so far. They've been in all of them. Blinds going up, 50, 100. Jack 10 shoving the two broadways. And we did a snap call by Ace Deuce. Just one more time for the stream dream. Come on. One more time for the stream dream. Brick. There we go. I like it. All right, guys. We're heads up against Alverda, who has two big blinds, and we have two hands left. We have a big 9-1 to one chip advantage. Can we do it? This is not a good start. This is not a good start. 7-3 against fives. 7! Ace! Eight for the chop is fine. Not a good start. Last hand, okay. Last hand, we have Jack Eight against a fold. Okay. Here we go. Seventeen hundred, three hundred. You guys, we need to win one of the first three. I think. We're ahead. There's no more equity to head here. We just flip. So basically, our equity is already, you know, pretty good. Okay, we don't win the first one. We need to win this one. If we don't win this one, then we need to win two. <laughs> hey, there it is. Woo. Okay, what do we pick? Left, center, or straight? I don't know. Left, center, or right? It obviously doesn't matter. So let's just pretend and let's just... Center. 200. Hey, let's go. 500. Woo. We make a profit on the $100 spin and go max on the last one. We shipped the 500, you guys, to make 100 bucks over those four we played. And we won a tournament. Hell yeah, man. That was fun. I like that format. It's just a good time. It's easy to say after you, <laughs> you ship one in dramatic fashion and think the biggest multiplier. All right, guys. Thanks so much for checking out the stream. If you guys liked it, hit the follow button. I think we might hit... Uh, 100,000 followers tomorrow. We're really close, so we'll see. Uh, tomorrow's stream is going to be a lot of fun. A bunch of different games, some cash games, some eight games, some spin, spin and max, power up, hyper turbo tournaments and all that stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'd love to see you come back and hang out once again. Thanks to all the follows, the subs, the bit lords today. Thank you guys so much for supporting the show day after day. Really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to host someone else in the listing. I think my brother Matt Staples is streaming right now. So I'll drop a link in the chat as well as host after the outro. Um, that's going to be it for me tonight. Okay. Thank you guys so much for the love as always. Having so much fun doing this. Till tomorrow. See you later.